mean, I think in a lot of stories, you're going to find characters that are fighting for love um, and fighting to defend that love. And, and so, I mean, for me, I think that Nick and Pete are very much different. However, I think that they do have that thing in common of, of fighting for what they believe in and fighting for, you know, their, their true love. So in that respect, yeah, they are similar. Thank you. Uh, I, I didn't know a lot about Pablo. Um, I knew who he was and that he was a drug lord and, and all that, but I kind of always knew him as an American, as a guy that was like a Robin Hood that took from, you know, the people who buy the drugs and everything and give it to the community, the churches and schools and all these hospitals and things. Um, and it wasn't until I started working on this movie that I, I learned more of how the horrible things he did to the community and how he terrorized people and how he would make people trust in him and believe in him and then turn that trust around and use it to for his own ways. Um, so I saw really a lot more of the monster who Pablo was as opposed to only the kind of cool drug lord that helped the community that I sort of knew him as before. But I learned that he was an absolute monster. I manipulative. know this is serious. Or um, it's based on the way uh, you act. <laughs> it's, I don't know how often you do it's uh, expression, you know, you're so serious. And um, all, all the way you act from this type of roles. And uh, what about a comic role? Would you do that? What? Comic. A comic role. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'd like to laugh. <laughs> I, I think uh, there's a moment in the movie that I do try to go for the, for the funny stuff uh, as much as you can. The choice. Why? The you choice. do always this this type of rose, so bad guy. <laughs> because I am a bad guy. <laughs> but the movie comes up, you know. But, you know, I just uh, I think you. I blame this one on Andrea Di Stefano, and the other ones I blame on the directors or the writers. You know? I, I didn't. I don't direct. I, I let them do whatever. Do the night edit them. Yeah. And you cut them. Like, yeah. I just, I just let him. No, he did. No, he did. It was, it was cool because I yeah. think. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Did you me? Yeah, yeah, not really. You were directing. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, it was cool. It was really cool. I mean, we, we had a really good time. Um, we shot in, in uh, Havana in Cuba, and, and uh, he did give me a lot of freedom to kind of, you know, really just be myself in that character because that character was really a lot like me, myself. Um, and, and he just, we did a great job of creating an environment that was really comfortable to play in and comfortable to improv and just live something real, which was, uh, I mean, for me as an actor, like the greatest thing to be given, I think. Um, and yeah, we worked with him was fantastic too. You know, we, we had a lot of fun on set and, and we, you know, work off each other really well, I think. And, you know, we kind of bounce sort of our performances off one another, which I don't no. say to be a nice thing. You sit right next to me, it's a little embarrassing, but he's, he's great to work. You know, I, I think uh, with, with actors, when you work with actors, and uh, me being an actor as well, I, and Andrea being an actor, I think the, the main thing is to try to look for the truth. And, uh, and it's kind of really hard to create that truth in front of a camera. And some people have it, and I don't know if they can describe it, how they get there. But, you know, Josh is one of those guys that has that thing of always looking for the truth, you know, and, um, and then creating that, that, I don't know what it is, but in front of the camera, because I don't think he's too truthful right now. When you put a camera in, you'll find that thing, that bubble, I don't know, but, uh, but, but, it, but it's, a, it's a hard thing to do, and, and uh, when you get an actor and you work with an actor that has that, it's great. Yeah, uh, I'm American, so I spoke English um, and nothing else. So uh, yeah, it was definitely a challenge for me. There was. Um, I mean, it was, it was cool because this was really an international set and, and it was a French-Spanish co-production and crew from all over South America and Cuba and, and everything. So really having that, that Spanish around me all the time definitely helped me to, to pick it up quicker. Uh, I learned a little bit for the movie, but I really just focused on learning my lines that I needed to say in Spanish. Uh, since then, since the project, I have started to expand my understanding of the Spanish language uh, slowly but surely. Um, yes, it's, uh, the research is very important. I think um, 
Um, the difference uh, between the Che movie and this movie is uh, this movie is really through the uh, that you see the character through the eyes of um, the character that Judge Hutchison plays, uh, Nick. So this is a different approach. But Andrea and myself, we 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 talked a lot about the true the truth of Escobar, you know. And, and, and in a way, I think that um, the character of Josh, in a way, kind of like it's it's a kind of like a microcosm of perhaps the 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 damage or the the yeah the the damage that he might have done to a lot of people. That it was one thing and turned out to be another thing, and he did help people. And so, so we concentrated on, on on kind of like doing this microcosm of maybe what he did to Colombia is kind of like clear in a way to, to what he did to to, um, to to Josh in a way. And so it's it's a it's a different it was a it's a different approach. But yes, the, the research is always really it's exciting. You, it's, it's, it's part of the, of the of the fun part of being an actor, you know. Just to you get to learn history and you let it learn a lot of stuff, and, and uh, so I I know more of Escobar than I did before I started the movie. The same way that with, uh, with Che Guevara. I I can't sing in the shower. I worked very hard to try to get that going, um, and I. I Andrea put it there, so I work very hard. If I have to work that hard for every song, there's no way <laughs> I will do a record. But uh, if someone has an idea, I think Andrea, maybe we should get on that. Yeah, you know. But uh, it was Andrea's idea of the song, which, uh, which when he played it to me was uh, was like I really thought that it was very important to get that moment. You know him singing because actually Escobar did sing. Uh, you know he, he liked to sing, but uh, me I, I don't. I don't. Uh, no, no, I, I can't sing and nothing. But I love music. Huh? It's, it's crazy. I love music and I really like listen to music every day. But uh, I can't sing. But thank you anyway. <laughs> I, we, can, we can talk about the cover of the album. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I think the Guardians of the Galaxy is coming out here this week. I think it's coming out, yeah. Um, I, uh, regarding uh, the contract, uh, uh, that's private. Uh, but but um, I, I don't know, but, if, but, if, but, if, but I, I, I'm looking forward if, I, if they call me in to, to play that character again, because um, I think it, I always feel like um, like when you do a character, you really don't get it until the very end, the last take of the last day of the shoot. So I feel like I got a hold of that character. I feel like that with every movie, but uh, but I, it would be fun. So you know, fingers crossed. Yeah.